everybody welcome back to our happy place if you've been here before and if you're new welcome to our happy place come on in and take a seat and let's get ready to learn something today i am working on a baby shower gift um and so what i am doing is customizing some onesies so i've already put my designs into cricut design space i'm going to do this in vinyl um today heat transfer vinyl so i've already put my designs in design space i've already loaded my mat um you guys have heard me talk about before um keeping your scraps from when you cut other projects and this is like the reason because obviously a baby's onesie is pretty small so you're not going to need like a whole full sheet of vinyl so what you do you go into your scrap bin and you get your scraps and then you use those so here we are i have all I'm doing four onesies, but I'm printing them all on one um, mat to save time, space, the whole nine yards. Now I know what colors I'm using, so all I need to do is make sure that the colors that I'm using are on the right spots on the mat. Um, so I have two two designs that are going to be in black on this side, two designs that are going to be in blue on this side, and then I'm going to have some red accents down here. So I've just kind of match them up um, using my mat that's in design space. I'll turn you around so you can kind of see what I mean. Hopefully you can see that. So you kind of look and see where the designs are placed on the mat. You use the number grids that are along the top and the sides. And then once you figure that out, then you just simply make your cutting mat to match where you put the designs at. So that's exactly what I've done. So everything is going to match. Remember when you're doing um, vinyl, you have to mirror it always um, so that it prints out backwards so that it will iron the proper way forward. You have to go in and select your materials. Of course, this is just everyday iron on, nothing special. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it on fast mode and I'm going to print and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have weeded the design, but I'm going to tell you, um, it weeded like crap because of the font that was used. It just it, it just didn't work out well. And I'll show you what I mean by turning you around to my computer. And perhaps you'll understand a little better. So I kind of blew it up so you could see this particular font right here, as you can see, it's kind of broken up and to form the letters, they used um, little bits and it was just entirely too hard to weed. It didn't come off. So rather than scrap the design, I salvaged it by just retyping the letters, best buddies and forever, because I'm going to insert them in here. And so all you have to do when that happens is, and hopefully you can still see is you retype in a better font and you kind of put it over where the old font was and you just kind of resize it so you know what you need best you can it's not going to be perfect um, but like that kind of fits within the dimensions right I can stretch it a little bit more but you get the idea. You just kind of play around with it until you get it um, to where you like it and that it'll work for your design. So that's in fact what I did. I chose a different font. was still what I thought was a kitty font um, to go on the onesie. Um, and then I just kind of sized it to fit in there and I recut it back out so I could salvage what I had going on. So I'm going to weed that really quickly so that uh, we can incorporate that in the first design so let's see get that off a weeder okay get this out really quickly and then I'll show you how I kind of put it together so It'll look like it was always one design and not an afterthought. But I'm always telling you guys, even when you think you've messed up, there's no doubt a way to salvage it. And, of course, the person who you're giving the gift to is never going to know that it was anything other 
than what you gave them. So now this is weeded much better, much better. So I'm going to separate these because they go in different parts of the design. What I am going to do is to get my handy dandy scraper and I'm going to scrape out the part that I didn't like, that didn't weed well, so that that's off my sticky contact paper. Just like this. Get these little bits off. Oh, here's my. Get these right on off of here. Now the other option is I could have cut it um, and uh, placed it all down individually on the shirt, but then I'd have to worry about measuring and sizing it to make sure it had the right spacing. And to me, this is just a easier way, at least for this design. So I'm gonna remove it all up here like so. And you do have to get all the bits because remember this is iron on when it hits the heat it will show up on the shirt so i'm going to do this quickly on camera so you can see it but then i'm going to kind of finish it up off camera so i don't take all that time so anyway for the most part you see now where the middle section let me take this off the middle section is gone, right? So I just need to now turn this up. So that it'll fit in there. And we have to trim it because we don't want this um, plastic paper covering any of the other words that are on there because when you go to press it if it's covering it instead of going on the shirt it will press to this plastic sheet and then we got something else we got to fix so not really trying to do that so we're going to try to be careful on the front end so we trimmed this down pretty tightly to the words. We are now going to stick these words on the original carrier sheet like this and voila now it's back to saying grandpa and me best buddies. So I'm going to fix the friends piece and then I'm going to come back and show you. Okay, everything is weeded. So let's look at the designs. This one says, please pass me to grandpa. This one is, says the original, the encore, the remix, and the first two are going to have strike lines through them because he is the third. Um, this one is just going to have his name and the three because he's the third. And then this is the one that I had to fix. Grandpa and me, best buddies forever with the fist pump. So I have heated up my mini press. This is a mini press from Cricut. Perfect thing to use when you're using um, a small object such as the onesie from the baby for the baby. I'm going to switch out my weeding mat for my iron on mat and i just found this iron on mat i think in joann's or walmart or something on clearance and i just kind of use it to do small objects kind of right here on my desk Makes it easy i'm going to get the onesie we are going to press it because as i always said all items have moisture in it so you just kind of want to give it a quick press before you actually put the vinyl on it so that it has a good connection to it just a quick little press now let's see we'll 
go with this one first. We will lay it down. We can kind of gauge this. This is for a baby, so it's not that deep, but you could still use the method of um, giving it a center crease on the design. And remember I said it's not the paper, but it's the word. So you could. A lot of times I will figure out where the center is also by the tag that is in the onesie. The tag is usually typically right in the center of the onesie. So if I use that just kind of as my center line and kind of move it down to the center of the chest. This looks good. And I'm going to press it in on the mini press you do not have a buzzer which will say like ding ding times up take it off so you will just kind of have to see yourself voila that is one down nice let's move on to the next one and i will after i finish pressing all of them um get a sheet of um, parchment paper and go over them again without the plastic film just to make sure that it's a good press on it and one good trick to know whether or not you've really gotten a good press is because you should be able to see the ribbing of the onesie kind of in the um Vinyl, that's what I'm trying to say, in the vinyl. And I'll show you what I mean at the end. So again, we're gonna kinda get this one. This is the one that I had to fix. So, gonna get this one down. Okay. And when you peel up this one, you're still gonna have the other two films left um or you may have them left because remember we put a film on top of a film but so remember if you do take the second piece off and uh, voila number two down um the third one getting that moisture out it is very very important I mean you can go ahead and press it without this step but I will let you know that if in fact you do that you um, will not have the vinyl stick as long as it would be um, without that step I mean with that step so you can go straight for the press on and like I said if in fact you do that um, I can guarantee you that you'll you'll see some lifting um, and you might have seen people's um, shirts that have the vinyl maybe lifting off of one end or something like that and I can guarantee you it's because they did not do that step where they have taken the moisture out and so that piece is very important do not skip steps especially if you're selling it and I would just say in general because you don't even want to give a gift that's not going to last I mean, you don't even want to wear something yourself that's not going to last. So, this is number three. And then we have one more to go. Get the moisture out. Get the moisture out. And I will tell you, when I'm doing um, onesies for babies... I will never get newborns um, because, first of all, you never know how big the baby's going to be. I'll always get like zero to three months um, only because then you know that the baby is going to be able to wear it for a while. Um, but never will I get a newborn because they probably will not get to wear it at all or put it on for perhaps just a picture. But... You want them to get that maximum amount of wear out of it. Okay, so because I'm going to put another layer over this, I'm really just going to tack this down quick. I'm not going to put a whole bunch of pressure, and I'm not going to do it long. And as you see, 
Obviously, I did not do it long enough. So yeah, another thing that I have to fix, but not a problem because it can be fixed. And um, I'll show you what I did. Everything came off, but the two T's. Um, so I'm going to put this back down and you can see kind of um, where everything cut at so you, you can have a good way to, to place it back down to get it where it absolutely needs to be. So just take your time. So I'm going to put that back down and I'm going to hit that with the heat again. And now everything is off. Again, patience, something I'm working on, but you guys do better than me so that you won't have to fix so many oopses. But at least you um, know that they can be fixed. So that's good to know. So I am just putting the strikers through. And again, if you're asking me why am I doing this, it is because this baby is the third. And so he's not the original, he's not the encore, but he is the remix. And I do want to put um, a piece of parchment paper down over top of this. So hold on, let me grab it. Okay, I'm back and I actually grabbed my Teflon sheet because that was closer than going all the way upstairs to grab parchment paper. But you really can literally use um, parchment paper and the reason why I am doing it is because um, I don't want to put direct heat on the vinyl so I'm going to put a barrier between it so that they don't get melted because you can melt vinyl so put that down we are going to press with this mini press and this mini press comes in handy. I mean, you can do hats with it. You can do shoes with it. I mean, you know, any little quick thing. You could iron your small child's clothes if you wanted to, just as we did with um, this onesie. And here is the third one. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back through and I'm going to give them another press with the um, Teflon sheet over them just to make sure that they are good and stuck down because again I don't have the pressure for my normal clamshell heat press so I have to do it with my hand and I'm going to do that and I'm going to hopefully you can see what I'm talking about when I say um, you should see the fiber or the ribbing in the shirt come through the vinyl hopefully let's see hopefully you'll be able to see that and it's not too blurry trying to get it adjusted but you literally can see the ribs in the onesie through the vinyl and then that way you are for certain that you have made a nice good seal Okay, guys, we are all finished. I did want to point out one thing on this one. Um, I could have made the Best Buddies and the Forever a different color because remember, I swapped it out. So that is another way that if um, you end up with one whole design and you want to add a different color to it or have multiple colors, you can just swap it out in a different color. So keep that in mind as well. But yeah, we are all finished. Um, we got our four onesies all ready to go and it didn't take us long at all and um, yeah I think that grandpa will be pleased with this I actually work with grandpa so that's why everything was primarily geared towards um, grandpa so yeah um, thanks so much for spending a little bit of time with me today please uh, hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my content which does drop every Monday at 4 30 p.m. please leave something in the comments anything you have a question about anything you'd like to see me try and please share the video with anyone else who you think can benefit from what we've learned here today so until we meet again be safe bye everybody